Hello, Big Leak here doing a review of this double hot plate. You can see that I actually have a 30 cm wok on this. It's huge and I could still manage to fit a small little saucepan on the side. So this whole thing is about 45 cm and that's 30 cm across. Um, in between the centers is 22. I mean, from center to center, it's 22 cm, so you can measure that accordingly. I have this against a wattage meter over here to measure the wattage. So once I turn on the big one, it goes to 1600 watts. And then I turn this one on, it adds another 1000 on top. So let's see, you see notice that it turned back on. So it's temperature regulated. It turns off when it reaches to a certain temperature, and it turns itself off when... No, I said, I mean, it turns itself off when it reaches a certain temperature and it turns it back on just to top it up. So it can get pretty hot. It took about, at max, two minutes to boil a half a cup of water um, on this pan. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty sufficient for what I, for what I need. Just doing a, cooking a bit of kale here. Kale's all the rage these days. Um, I want to point out that it doesn't have rubber feet, it has hard plastic feet, so you can actually slide this. I mean, come on, you could add a rubber feet. Maybe it's a safety question, I don't know. It's making it more dangerous. But uh, I would put, as a tip, I would take out a towel, put it underneath the surface, and just put this on top of the towel. Um, let's see. Yeah, that gets pretty hot. This thing gets pretty hot. It says do not touch. I just touched that. That was pretty hot. So the heat transfer is all across. And I wonder how well it manages the circuitry. Um, so as I was saying, it's pretty efficient, pretty compact, pretty lightweight design, and it cooks very well. I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Um, if you have any questions, comments, just leave in the comment box below.